Guys, welcome back to today's winner on the Wall of Fame. Now, I want to thank you all 7,000 subscribers, guys. That is mental. Absolutely mental. So, I want to thank you all for that, guys. I also wanted to see if we could get, let's say, 40 likes on this brand new update video, guys. Now, today's winner was a very, very simple choice. I went on my video. They told me how much they loved the video, so I thought, let's put them on the wall. Plus, they comment on my channel quite a lot. So today's entry, guys, is Wonder Player 210. So let's get them up onto that wall of fame, guys. Right next to Ruse, Gaming Tiger, Ruse again, Milo, Sprite Cranberry, Jax. Thank you all guys, let's get into today's video. Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. And I wanna thank you all for 7,000 subscribers, guys. You are all the best. Now, to celebrate, guys, um, I feel like Purple have timed this correctly. They announced a couple of days ago the update. Yes, I'm a couple of days late, guys. I was very, very busy over the weekend, so I thought I'd take today to go over it and um yeah take a look at the new characters i'd imagine this will probably be coming out on tuesday let's see if they've put it in the um they normally put, they normally put it at the top yeah tuesday july 14th just tomorrow so absolutely perfect time for the update to come out because i can cover it today now i'm going to take a deep look over everything because like i said i've left the update quite a little bit late but i want to go over everything in today's update video guys so what the most important bit to look at is okay so uh, this release features Jumba and Pleakly from obviously Leo and Stitch Jumba will be replacing Tron as a new reward in the challenger season so obviously the big man here uh, we're increasing gold wars from multiple spots in the game including endless creep search now we haven't actually got endless creep search yet so this could potentially mean that um well they're gonna they might release it on all servers but we'll find out as we read down and obviously i'm very happy about the gold increase as well that's very 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 important so let's take a look at jumba is a control i was expecting him to be a tank so but obviously that means we're probably going to be able to get tron um, like in a legit way now for maybe a shop or the diamond crates now i'm not too sure but you're gonna have to be able to obtain him somehow and he's gonna be coming into the game on july the 15th which is for, uh which is tuesday no wednesday when everything resets so plasma cannon jumba fires his laser blaster at the closest enemy dealing damage and stunning them okay so straight off that doesn't sound too exciting Maybe it's going to be one of those moves that does like million damage. I don't know. But that's what I'd expect to see, guys. A move that would do like a million odd damage. And we've got theoretical experiment. Once per, per wave, throws an experimental substance at the frontmost ally, healing them, increasing their max HP giving them energy and increasing their basic damage so basically that does everything but armor and speed that's going to be ridiculous for like throwing it at sully or throwing it at tanks because if if you were to throw that at sully it would increase that hp and their max hp give them energy which means then that he's going sully is going to be bad to heal the entire team which is going to be very 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 good then we've got thermal sight uses thermal binoculars to see all enemies making jumba precise and increasing his basic damage precise heroes can target invincible that is beautiful that is absolutely beautiful you can target invincible enemies and their attacks cannot be dodged or evaded fantastic Part of the plan, when Jumbo is precise, he deals more damage with plasma cannon and basic attacks. 
Looks quite nice. So as soon as he's got that, that's going to do more damage. All his base attacks are going to do more damage. Now, at the start of each wave, the frontmost ally, including Jumba, is precise. When Jumba is precise, he gains energy each time he damages or stuns an enemy that he would not normally have if he was not precise. I can see that doing an absolutely unreal amount of damage there, guys. That's going to be crazy good. I think he's going to be a very, very good character. Annoyingly, the only way to get him is in the challenger season. But I say that if um, I'll just load the game up quickly. Where is it? There. And I'll see how much Tron I've got. Then we've got Peakley. Peakley is a backline damage character and will be available in Diamond Rates. Oh, this looks incredible. Okay. Peakley applies stacks of mosquitoes to enemies. He damages with basic attack. Active. Peakley sends a swarm of mosquitoes to enemies, dealing damage to all enemies and bonus damage over time. Okay, so this is phenomenal. He's basically an attack version of Winnie the Pooh. Because that is no different. Uh, this is a very creative, guys. Uh, purple. This is no difficult. This is no different than um, uh, Winnie the Pooh. No different at all, apart from the mosquitoes stay on. Food of choice. Peakley sends a small swarm of mosquitoes at the enemy with the least HP. Deals damage to them, applies stacks of mosquitoes to them, and the mosquitoes return to Peakley healing him. That is awesome. So, in a non PG kind of way, they're going to still suck the enemy's blood and transfer it over to him. I like that. Pulls out his image viewer, study the enemies. Mm. Not incredible, but still pretty cool. Enemies mosquitoes on them take damage over time per mosquito. I'm scared of this character. When an enemy is studied, they receive stacks of mosquito. Each mosquito on an enemy removes basic damage. Friendships. Pleakly and Moana, Pleakly and Hero Refresh. It's another Hero Refresh this time. It's the Queen of Hearts who's getting the royal treatment. Okay. That's pretty good because um, he's basically became pretty useless. Queen of Hearts with her. I have a, for a pension for caring enemies when they are at low HP and increasing her attack speed. We felt her old skills weren't leaning into the niche well and she needed more tankiness. That's true. More HP, more base damage, more skill power. That's good because the Queen of Hearts was a little bit useless. Queen of Hearts in increases allies' attack speed and applies stacks of fatigue to the enemy. A white skill now increases her allies' attack speed for a duration. Her white skill now supplies fatigue, rem removed shuffling two enemies. I can't remember what that was. I think that moved, like, the enemy's position, which was pretty awful. Once wave when the Queen of Hearts falls below percentage, she gains armor and increased... Yeah, that's pretty decent. Off with the head. Every few basic attacks, the Queen of Hearts playing card march the frontmost enemy to the back of the battlefield, stunning them. Okay, that's pretty cool. Her blue skill now shuffles the frontmost enemy to the back. Change its in KO from a flat amount of HP to a percent. That makes more sense. Change its in KO to trigger every... That's pretty good. The instant KO... That's mad. Invincibility. And Berserk. That means Beast. So she, that means she's a very, very good counter to Beast now. Royal Highness. A purple skill now makes her immune to all attack and movement speed slows. Removed bonus HP. Moved to her core stats, which is good. That just means as you level up normally, it's going to have more HP. The Queen of Hearts. So this is her red skill. The Queen of Hearts and her allies heal HP each time they base... Queen of Hearts and her allies heal HP each time they basic attack. Enemies stunned by off with their head also have their movement speed redu reduced and their armor. Oh my. She is going to be absolutely mental.
Removed heal on carrying an enemy. Removed attack speed increase on carrying an enemy. Queen of Hearts now begins each wave with stacks of hardy. Queen of Hearts now gains... Nah, she is going to be... Nominal, guys. I am... Um, I am actually quite scared. I am quite scared. She's going to be a very, very good character. So, increase gold wars and endless creep surge. So, um, Cookie, Termit, Cookie Kermit told me a while ago, because he was in one of the servers who can do the endless creep surge, um, is that it was in... You get loads of gold from it anyway. So, the fact they buffed it is quite good because apparently it was already really good. We increase the overall gold on the battle, increase the gold multiplier, increase the gold on bonuses. Increase gold scaling for daily quests. Again, war crates and guild check-ins. Good. Update to deliver the VIP rings. VIP rings will no longer appear in the mailbox. That makes sense. That's players who are going up the VIP level to get access to Yeah, that's good. I like that. Quick win bonus in challenger seasons. Really know what that means. It's an artifact from a starting to get up to seven seconds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that just means you're going to be able to get more points. In City Watch, removing the name and the team of the opponents, it will now display the team power. That makes sense. Gizmo, fixing issue with Gizmo's green skill when there was no cap on how much armor he could steal. That makes sense. There's green skill where the rockets would not consistently damage the stunned opponent. So basically, there's a lot of fixes here, guys. I'm not going to read through every single one of them. You can see them all here. That's nice because I use Bo Peep. I like that. Hero emojis, good. Fish and Shibet, endless creep search attack log, nice. Bo Button would be grayed out. Cool. Then obviously, Peakly Diamond Crate, Jumba, Challenger Season, Tron, City Watch. Oh. Eeyore be moved, Glyph will be moved. Okay, guys. So I'm quite excited for this update. So what I wanted to do quickly was just take a look and see where um, uh, I was with Tron. Because we can see how many stars I have for him for just doing it. So I got, I managed to get him up to five stars just by bouncing through the challenges. So obviously I'm unfortunately nowhere near getting him six stars, but I was able to get him up through quite a decent position just by doing the challenger ranks guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you're excited for this update. I certainly am. More gold, easier to obtain gold, loads of character fixes, new characters. Hopefully Creep Search comes out worldwide soon. But um, they still haven't announced much about that. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.